demons in the church. This is a topic that might um, seem shocking, but it's crucial to understand. The Bible warns us about, spirit, uh, about the spiritual welfare. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, it says, For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against rulers, against authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness. This, this highlight that the, 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 our struggle is not just visible, it's spiritual. In Matthew chapter 7, verse 15, the Jesus cautioned us, caution us to beware of false prophets who's come, who, who come to you in sheep's glory, but inwardly are ravenous, ravenous dwells. This is a clear indication that, uh, that, that, that deception can infiltrate the church. And those who appear righteous may harbor dark intentions. That is just the word of God. And that just the truth. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 states, Now the Spirit expressly says that in later times some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons. This verse emphasizes that, that, that even within the church, some may be led astray by demon, uh, demonic influences disguised as teachings. Now, furthermore, in, in 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 14 to 15, Paul reminds us that Satan, uh, Satan himself must create as an angel of light. So we, we must remain vigilant as a child of God. This, the, the presence of demons isn't just about possession. It's about influx. We have seen what is happening around the world. They have the, 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 the great musicians are now infiltrating in the church. Subduing men of God. You see, with their influence. They can sow this call, promote false doctrines, and lead believer and lead believers away from the truth. So how do we combat this? That's the question. In, in Ephesians chapter six, verse, chapter six, yes, has conti uh, continued with the armor. It continues with the armor. The Ephesians chapter six continues uh, in the preaching of the armor of God, preaching of the truth, righteousness, faith, and the war of God. We need to be grounded in scripture and discernment to recognize these influences. Right? People are going conclusion. Why demons may operate within the church? We have the tools to stand firm, stay prayerful, rooted in God's law, read your Bible, and always seek the silence. Remember, we are not alone in this battle. God has been there for us. Whatever you do, wherever you go, design the spirit of breaking there. Because the devil is roaming from east, west, north, and south of the world to looking for whom to devour. If you are not strong, they will leave you with their fantasy. They will tell you they will give you the whole world. And they will do that. But think of God. Think of your internal life. The devil, the demons are in the church. The demons are in the church. Influencing the ministers. Taking them away from the things of God. Thank you so much, brethren. Please be mindful about the demons that are in the church. They might come in many ways in sheep's glory, giving you rewardly things. Remember, our Christ Jesus, our Savior, was tempted in that manner. The devil took him to the mountain and telling him, look, I will give you the whole world if you can bow down with me. And that is exactly what is happening today. When you are, when you are conversant and uh, updated with the news around, you will see our prominent men of God have been influenced. But there's one thing about God. He must surely reveal every secret on this earth. Because the earth is the Lord and the fullness of God. So I want remember us. God bless you. And stay focused. Kindly share this message so we can reach a greater number of people. And God bless you in the name of Jesus. Stay focused and be rooted in the word of God. Remember us.